That's pretty epic. <laughs> that was a burnout. You didn't even know this, but the whole time <laughs> yep. you're working on it, it's yours. Part two of the Chad build. I didn't mention in the first part, the reason that I'm even giving Chad this truck is because I have one. I have a 65 little short bed hot rod and he's liked it. He's just mentioned some things like he'd like to have one of those. And then I actually showed Chad the picture of this truck and uh, told him I'd bought it. And he's like, man, you ever, ever want to get rid of that thing? I'm interested. I'm like, nah, I'm never getting rid of this truck. So, <laughs> because I'd already made my mind up, it was Chad's when I bought it. That's why we're building the truck that we're building for Chad. Here we go. Back to part two. Let's make this thing do burnouts. Today is the day this thing's gonna run. So this morning, I got to get the turbo piping all dealt with. I'm gonna be working before everyone gets here. All right. Everyone made it to the shop. We're getting cracking here. We are gonna tackle brakes. We're gonna get the booster mounted and the pedals all in so we can bleed them. That way when Chad gets here, we can make this thing run. So major hurdles are cooling, fuel, and brakes. Brakes are like 90% done. Cooling hasn't been addressed yet and fuel hasn't been addressed. So we got a lot to do. Yeah, it's gonna set like so and I'm gonna weld some little angle tabs on it. The shroud is the hard part. I don't even think we're messing with the shroud. Later. We're gonna screw a fan <laughs> onto the front of that thing, hook some hoses up and call her good for now. I think that's the first easy radiator job. I know, right? Ever done. I mean, probably knock on some wood somewhere yeah. or something, Hunter. Don't, don't go ahead and jinx us this early in the morning, but I think the cooling's gonna be easy. That actually went way better than I expected. I've got a hole. <laughs> back to you when you got it done. All right, give me an hour or two. <laughs> Doing exhaust. So game plan is right out and coming out the fender right down here. So I'm gonna drill a hole in that fender, which some may hate it, but I like it. All right, we're gonna figure this out. Right there looks like the perfect turbo location. Right through that rust hole, it's gonna be the perfect Oh yeah, that's perfect. Hard to come by, vintage truck. We'll drill a hole in the fender. Okay, hater pipe's coming out right there. <laughs> cool. That's what's gonna stick out the fender, so it'll look like that. We'll have to do a little, little hammering on it, but it's gonna be pretty cool, I think. What do you think, Hunter? I like it. Looks like it needs to shoot flames out of it, you oh, know? It's, it's gonna shoot flames. <laughs> Is that how far it sticks out? Yeah. I'm gonna go put a, a kink in it right there and bend it up. Let's do it to your truck. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm good. Might have to drill a bigger hole. Chad, I need your approval. See if it looks terrible. I thought was the whole goal. Yeah, it looks terrible. That's perfect. <laughs> I like it. I love it. I may I fish like mount it. that just a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. I may come. Just make that in line with the. Uh, come across with that now that I can see where it's got to be. 
There's your Sharpie. Why do I always find myself in this position with a lot of wires in my head? I don't know. You know that, like the guy on the movie that, like Dr. House, I think, where he, his character, he decided had a limp or something. So now he has to limp through the whole thing. You started wiring it. Up. Yeah, now I just got to limp through the now whole thing. Now you're just screwed. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> you got to limp through the whole thing. I like that. Uh, <laughs> you're like, wait a minute, that's not right. I'm going to trim that off. Then we'll weld this thing together. And wait for noise. I think we've got the exhaust pretty much dialed. I'm gonna go ahead and mark this. Actually, probably gonna tack it right in spot, and then we'll pull it out of here, weld it all up, and uh, move on to one more thing on the list. All right, she's tacked in. I'm gonna unbolt it and finish weld it out here. All right, Hunter doesn't believe that I can get this out of here now. I don't think you can get it back in. Comes out, it'll come back in. That was a lot easier than I thought. One hater pipe, right? That's a lot of tube, really. It'll yeah. be quiet. Yeah. All right, one exhaust system complete. This may be the shortest exhaust system I've ever made. And it's back in. It'll be quiet that bad. Okay. All right. Finished. We've got ourselves one pipe. Now I'll finish the turbo hookup. I don't know how to do that yet, but I'll get it. Um. Wow, there's a bunch of stuff over there. Okay. That feels good. I mean, a little discouraging when you look at how much we got left, but it feels good. We gotta order some stuff. like so we'll bolt it in put a hose on it we can't bolt it on yet we need that hose then but we'll put the return we'll drill it this right here is our return we gotta put in yeah i think that's what i'll do all right we'll go put it in is that gonna be ugly yeah, yeah but it's gonna be good enough yeah. you want to tell everybody what you like that that was an old bucket or i kind of showed oh, them last night when i was okay. building it i found this chunk of aluminum i had I milled it out or laid it out to fit the, the throttle body. Tomorrow when we have the throttle body mounted, I'll figure out what pipe needs to go in here to match to the turbo. We'll weld it in. Yeah, it's, uh, it's morphed into, it's gonna work. We gotta cut this off just barely and then expand this out to fit that. And turbo's plumb. Hey Ben. <laughs> How's the fuel system going? That's good. It's just old, dry, rotted stuff, so it's just breaking. But it's, it's getting there, right? You got it tied in and everything? Yeah, yeah, it's tied in. The neck's on. I'm just putting the clamps on it, and uh, I'm just going to add one more hole right there for the return. Right here. We're good. Then a seat. No clutch pedal now. I guess we're going to put this on. Just cut it off. We'll weld that on. We need a gas pedal too. How about shifting? Are you tackling that or um, that's not your department? Maybe. Sean. Sean. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what though. That yeah, stuff we that stuff we marked off and the holes we marked out, perfect. Really? That rod? That. You marked it. Right on the money. You have plenty of clearing. Oh yeah, no, we're not gonna be struggling for We'll probably take a piece of inner tube. Lay down the side of it so when they pinch it, it doesn't vibrate and wear a hole in it. Yeah, it's gonna work. Where'd those hoses come from? They were in the truck. Oh. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Really? The truck yeah. knew exactly what it wanted to be when it grew up. Yeah, it did. I want to be a turboed LS when I grow up. Yeah, we'll clamp it and it'll be there. So we got the hoses built. Now we'll build the mounts. We're gonna have a that looks so sexy in there. A little rad in here action. Perfect. I'll weld them on. Did Kyogo get some grease? 
little bit of grease, take these nuts off, put a dab on each one, and then just set it down. No mark for another you. Another hackle. Wiggle my grounding device. Oh yeah. All right, we have got radiator mounted. It's got hoses. We're getting closer to testing this thing. What, what year is it? <laughs> I don't see a best if used by date. <laughs> so I think we're good. Comes out liquid or stuff. It's still green, it's fine. This thing is not light. We got the top end pretty much buttoned up. We are gonna roll this forward, throw it on the hoist, get the fuel lines dialed in, everything hooked up. And then I think we're on to some computer work, basically. A little more wiring to button up here and there, but she's coming together quick. That's good, because we're running out of hours in this day. They're going away as fast as our stuff is getting done. Well, actually, the alternator's on it. Drive shaft is there. Clamp brake lines to frame. Oh, the clamp brake yeah, lines. Yeah, we do that. So that's done. I think we got that part. So we may need some more clamps to, fit to, to do this. We'll see what we got. Well, we can improvise. Right, good, right there somewhere. Okay. Should we throw this on? Do it. Let's give it a drive line up. Just don't drop a cap. Yeah. Right there. We've got drive shaft. Cool. Let me get a wrench and finish. Up. Oh, hey. Down. gonna reach in and uh, see if it we're not trying to start it we just want to see if it cranks holy cow it cranks okay good deal I'm gonna grab my test light to check a couple things and we'll plug things in things are looking up she might actually run we'll see it's doing everything it needs to do to run we're gonna plug the handheld tuner in we're gonna set some timing tables a little fuel map stuff and we're gonna crank it and go for broke we'll see if it runs yeah, it's in park. Just don't stand right in front of us. Yeah, let's see if we can get any fuel. Make sure yeah. we don't... It hasn't got fuel yet. There, there it got some. No leaks there. Well, got fuel leak at the back here. Fuel leak at the back. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Someone didn't tighten that spark plug up. Oh. <coughs> okay. All right, let's... We're see. back again. Okay, let's make sure we have some spark. You got cranks or RPM signal? It won't show me. The screen keeps going blank, so let's just see if we have any uh, spark. Ready? Yeah. Okay, you got spark. Okay. Yeah, that shocked me pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I see it. Wow. Yeah, that got me good. It got my elbows. <laughs> Sounded like it was going to run. Yep. Cleaned all the stuff out. Yeah, that's not big enough. Do we plug the crank sensor in? Well, it's crank to here, and then it has this yeah. the output on. But we plugged them in down there. Yeah, they're they're plugged in. Otherwise, plugged in. we wouldn't have spar. Okay. The little whirly thing goes around when it starts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It does. <laughs> yep. All right. We're rolling. Losing it. Okay, we're uh, we're forced into this. 
we got to update the computer so that we can read it with the laptop. We're gambling, we're rolling the dice, and hoping for the best. But now we can get it with the computer. Maybe I can communicate with it with the computer now. So we've updated it. Now maybe the laptop will hook on and we can figure out what the crank signal problem is. But it started. Well, we've had we've had to do that a lot. I know, but I waited all day to uh, see that. So. Well, you could have left two hours ago then. <laughs> <laughs> Same problems. We're back on this thing again. Supposed to be running yesterday and it would have if we could have made the Holly talk. For some reason, we're not getting any uh, tack signal, which won't fire the injector. So we're, uh, we're gonna get Holly on the phone, talk with him, see if we can figure this out. Hopefully we're doing burnouts before long. Talk to Holly after a while of waiting on, on hold. <laughs> but they hooked us up. We got uh, the problem solved. We think it's gonna run. We're, we're into it, we can talk to it. Chad is getting all the timing table set and everything now. We're gonna be able to crank this thing and theoretically it should run when, it, when we crank it. So I'm excited. It's about time. Okay, well, let's see what we get. See if we can get all the tuning dialed in, and then we're gonna take this thing for a, a drive. Actually, well, gotta bolt the bed. We won't bore you with that. Then we go for a drive. Wait. He's ripping. Dad's working. Dad, it's running. We got the bed mounted. I mean, it's uh, it's pretty cool. Let's take it for a rip. First initial backup. Got reverse at least. Small converter was the right choice. <laughs> We're gonna go make sure everything's decent in this thing. Then we'll start having fun in it once we find out. We gotta put a power steering pump in it evidently. Cause she's not happy. The shifter's still pretty quick. Yeah it is. Yeah, overall it's there. Oh, hey, we were doing 55. 
us a cold Mountain Dew with some ice in it. Chad will get himself a Pepsi. Oh, for sure. But uh, all in all, this is this is look, this is winning basically. This is a win. Yep. All right, we got ourselves some ice in the cup with a little bit of flavoring. We'll drive her home now. First test drive. It's amazing. The truck's awesome. Like surpasses all expectations. It does everything we want it to do. Burnouts it does really well, which we plan on doing a whole bunch here shortly. We're gonna put the hood back on it, fine tune a little bit of some things, maybe get the steering to work so we can not put it in the ditch. But for a three day thrash, yeah, we met our goals. Yeah, this truck is amazing. So And you actually threw extra stuff in, Paul. Yeah, when I started, I wasn't going to put the turbo on it. And then I'm like, man, I got a turbo. Why wouldn't you just put a turbo on it? So <laughs> we did it, and it was the right choice. It's good. The truck is fun. We'll get it finished, and we'll go show you some carnage. Okay, I got the wrong bolts. Hold on. Just hold that there. I got this. Just hold that there. <laughs> How long can you hold it, dude? <laughs> Sean's got it. Oh, two God. more minutes. Two more. All right, I'll take the time then. We've got a truck done. Chad's worked hard on this thing. He doesn't know yet, but he's about to own this truck. So we're going to rip up on the bench, tell him we're going to take it for a last test drive, do some burnouts in it and then we're gonna give it to him. So stay tuned, it's gonna be cool. He's, he's wanted this truck, he's wanted one like this truck. He's getting this one, so let's go. I think it's time, man. I think it's time. It's let's go test. Time. Let's go test this thing and see if it's good. Well, we almost made that three days, so, but it is day four. And it's day four, but really it was just little stuff today. Yeah, so. I think the original deal was burnout ready. Yep. I think we were pretty close. So. In three days, we took a pile of parts that were leftovers from other stuff, put them into this truck, it runs and drives. We're gonna go test it. Yep. There we go. Steering's way better. Yeah, it's way better. That pump was, yeah, it was dust.
Was that worth the four days? Yes, ma'am. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Woo! That was a good one. Is that good enough? That was a good one. <laughs> I think the stuff? motor's okay. No, I think the motor's fine. <laughs> three days ago, four days ago now, I guess, but yep. three days of wrenching. We dragged this truck out of a field and uh, put a whole bunch of parts that we had into this truck. It runs and drives. Wouldn't have happened without a whole bunch of help. So Ben wow. really wanted to be here yeah, for ben, the burnout, yeah. but he had to go home, so we missed Ben. Yep. Without Ben's help, the truck would not be where it is right now. So he was a giant part for three days on this thing. So Chad and Stacy come on vacation. That's his vacation. <laughs> <laughs> I owe her a vacation. For That's sure. right. They worked the whole week, so. Sure. Well, I appreciate it. <laughs> I really do. I appreciate all the other time you spent working on my junk. So, oh, yeah. it my didn't pleasure. go unnoticed at all. I mean, we really appreciate it. One thing no, about no, Chad no, is like, Chad, I don't think the FJ would have ha like been able to do what it does without Chad. Nope. I don't think the Wrecker would have done what it does for without sure. Chad. And I think a bunch of other YouTube channels have definitely benefited from Chad's help too. There's no doubt. We, we really appreciate Chad. it. No. So we, uh, we're giving you this truck. It's yours. For uh, three days, you've been wrenching on your own ride. Built your really? own motor, put your own stuff together. So <laughs> he's yours. You got yourself a genuine 65 GMC truck. Wow. The title's at the house. It's yours. If you guys <laughs> want to watch the rest of this build, you guys need to head on over to Chad's Fab to check it out. He'll do it upright. It'll be nice. I mean, it does burnouts. It will ruin back tires. Only one at the current time, <laughs> but that's easy to fix. I think a little bit of dialing here and there and you got a cool truck. Yeah. So. Holy crap. Yep. I'm still... <laughs> <laughs> yep. So try not to cry in front of half a million people. <laughs> now nah, you're good. Oh. How is it? Um, honestly, like, <laughs> it, <laughs> it's weird. I've never had anything like this before. So He's I had no. <laughs> <laughs> I just came up to help a friend and and spend a, a week out of my shop and uh, to have this happen just just blows me away. So I, I don't know. You just never have. Never have too many good friends. That's all I can say. So thank you guys very much for making this possible and watching our channel. So thanks, thanks for watching. watching. Dude, we gotta put in seatbelts now. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> The guppies made it back to the fab rat shop, so peace out. <laughs> <You're a> torque. <dork. laughs>